I can't control like what people come away with. And I certainly don't want this film to be considered an issue film. What are you doing here? But if for just one two hour moment of their life. Now what are they calling you? They feel this connection with a kid who was otherwise just a sort of bit of concrete detail in a news article, but it's someone real and flesh and blood and someone that sort of sticks with them in their memory. I will. Then I've sort of succeeded in showing how interconnected and small the, the world really is and how sort of universal our desires are in life. All of you that have seen your family killed, you now have something that stands for you. It has put the weapons of this war back in your hands of you. Harrison Nesbitt, our casting director, went to every single school in Accra, every single football pitch, every orphanage, every sort of youth center, uh, just looking for kids who would be interested in being in a movie. It was a pretty exhausting process. Victory! Yes, sir! Victory! Yes, sir! Seizes! Yes, sir! Immigration is, uh, you know, obviously a major issue right now, especially in Europe. There's no one quick and easy solution. As the world gets more and more unbalanced economically and the wealthy class shrinks in size, but still like grows in terms of like what they're able to control and the resources in the world, conflicts and, and tragedies, like what's happening in the Mediterranean right now, wars where children are swept up in them, that will actually just continue to grow. And I think if anything, the film sort of hopefully puts a light on that and contextualizes it, makes it understandable, so it's not just some far off thing, but we get a sense that like, these are issues that actually do affect us and aren't just something that are just on the other side of the planet that we don't have to worry about. I will always protect you because you are my son. And a son always protects a father. You know, they were actually, uh, they didn't socialize that much on set. Uh, Idris, very early on, kind of took on, I wouldn't say a completely uh, method actor uh, role, but he definitely stayed in that headspace of being the commandant and commanding all the extras around and telling them what to do and barking orders. And um, Abraham sort of kept his distance, except for the scenes that they had, they actually had together. I was wondering, in the midst of this, you're bringing the movie out, and there was a flap about whether Idris Elba could play James Bond or not. Do you have an opinion on that? Uh, I believe that guy could pretty much do anything. I mean, for lack of better words, I mean. James Bond is the sort of quintessential panty dropper, and uh, so is Idris, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, but <laughs> it's a pretty, they're both pretty charismatic guys, so why not? <laughs> 